play and we hear the uh, we hear the sheep being gathered we know game is beginning and how will this early uh, early on beginning of the game play out on Altai here a little bit of a different color with uh, with some yellow spawning in on the southwest side picked out from the Mista and the Muslim is the blue on the northeast Yeah, and it looks like we are going to be seeing um, a pretty basic opening from Ottomans here, just trying to get to the Feudal Age as fast as possible. And that makes sense if you're going to try and rush up a town center or something like that. Uh, so that's kind of what I think we're expecting from him this game. Same thing from Mista, though. He's not going to be um, he's not going to be delaying his age up with any farms or anything like that or survival techniques. He's just going to be gathering the sheep and the gold, and both players are just going to be trying to get feudal as fast as possible. Yeah, if uh, if this is, I remember English doing this a little bit, and I've had, I think I even watched a, a video of Mr.'s build. I think he goes like 804 on the English and does a little bit of a quicker feudal age aggression, sends those four back to the back to the gold, and just you know, longbows are going to come out. He still gets wheelbarrow a little delayed after feudal age rather than during it because of uh he ages up with those gold bills but you know could be uh could be wrong could be different here and uh how will he end up playing it out but a good plethora of sheep coming out by the muslim scouts circling around this eastern side of the mountain range yeah he's picked up a lot of sheep for himself <laughs> poor mista only has a single sheep following his scout but um that's not going to be a super big deal for english with those cheaper and faster farms and also the nearby hunt i don't think um, I don't think he'll be too upset by that, but for Ottomans, it's going to be quite nice for them because, um, it means that they're just going to have to delay their farm, or they're going to be able to delay their farm transition even more. Um, they're not necessarily going to have to use their Vizier point on anything like that Anatolian Hills, which gives them the eight sheep. Uh, he could even choose to go up with the trade landmark, um, and get the extra income out of those traders rather than the the berry landmark which is what we've seen from both the ottoman games so far yeah i'd love to see some trade go and i still remember uh when i saw like a, a silver tree build on this map with uh some some nice outposts with control on it and it worked out really well as it wasn't punished so let's see if that can end up happening and i believe was that the uh that was the good old trade landmark coming in from the muslim it Nope, it was it actually the Barry oh, Landmark again, the, oh. the, the Twin Madrasa, yeah, so he's going to be going with the same thing we've seen from Ottomans uh, every game so far, so getting the extra food income in early, going to help prolong the lifespan of those sheep, and um, also save him some some wood, actually, on, on some farms later in the game, as those villagers are just going to be happy on those berries the whole time. Yeah, and, and Mista looked like he was uh, already had a mining camp on the stone, so both players look to be potentially going for a second TC here. And we know from the English side that they are so hard to deny that second TC, like on their side, because of their extra town center firing and the extra damage that can come from that. Mista making sure to get vision of the Muslim side, wants to see what landmark he's going up with. He saw it, he says, okay, I don't have to worry about full denying trade. I don't have to, you know, start to be super, super aggressive and can uh, decide what he wants to do from here, but looks to be an early second TC from his side based off of uh, my guess. Yeah, he's already got the mining camp placed there on the stone, so it's very likely going to be um a town center he does have a lot of vills on okay i was gonna see a lot of vills on the landmark for for trying to go for a second tc but i guess he's gonna go for a couple of longbows first uh try to harass a little bit and then he's gonna go for the town center um so that makes sense with the the more villagers on the landmark to get the faster age up it's gonna get spotted by the muslim right away and the thing about this uh which is really nice about this is the muslim sees the longbows but he didn't see the stone so he's going to be expecting maybe full-on aggression from mista here yeah. um and that could really throw him through a loop if he's not careful and doesn't go back to scout again yeah and i've definitely seen in english matchups specifically where you only send out two or three i think three is typically the number that most players choose and it is just enough to force a reaction out of your opponent they can't just send a scout and, and take down your longbows with a the scout they actually will have to react with something and that is a either a delay on the second tc or you can potentially get some damage down if that second tc is the one being greeted for if your longbows can get there in time though 
Yep, we have the second town center just going down on this backwood line and the berry patch. It's also going to be covering a handful of deer that are behind his base, so pretty good placement for him. And with the large number of sheep he found in the early game in the berry landmark, he's going to be pretty comfortable on resources for a while. The one thing he's not going to have is access to gold. Um, so that's going to be something Mista is going to have to look to control here. Yeah, you know, it's after the after the last game, I uh, I think gold. Ooh, I like the little second TC place, but there's just going to be actually no aggression coming that's going to be able to come out on like the left side of the ridge line whatsoever out of the Muslim with two town centers that close to each other out of English. Yeah, it looks like the Muslim now finally getting around to scouting the base. He is going to see the stone, so he's going to know that it is going to be a second town center coming out for Mista. Uh, Mista finding a nice little pocket with his longbows there to try and deny some of the wood gathering, force the villagers to build a new lumber camp as well as get some idle time. So that's a uh, good use of the longbow there. Yeah, I mean, that means still no production building has come out for the Muslim yet, and I believe that was a villager pick right there on, uh, on one of the villagers under the town center. It was, so nicely done, uh, from Mista there with the, the early pressure. Um... Yeah, the question is going to be, like, what does the Muslim do here? The the one th other thing about um, the location of these resources is Mista could just put those longbows on the stone, and Ottomans would not be able to afford uh, the stone for those military schools. Um, looks like he's, he's just sending... He might be sending the longbows around to check it at some point, but... Um, yeah, there's not going to be any military schools out for Ottomans just yet. He's just going to build a stable and try to get out some Sapahi to try and uh, force these longbows away, get himself onto the gold and stone in front of his base, and then go from there. Yeah, and as those Sapahi are about to start coming out, we know Mista hasn't, I don't think, scouted them out yet, but what he's already doing proactively is building a wall on the only ridge line in the middle of the mountains that the Muslim would be able to go into. So this means... He's going to have to circle all the way around the backside, which, again, are easily walled off if he uh, can end up completing this wall on the east side, which he will. Yeah, that's just going to make defending a little bit easier for him. Yeah, and, ooh, the Muslim kind of were trying to react with the wall on the uh, the southern side of that ridge line himself, so going to try to kind of secure up a spot for him to, to send in some Sapahi through and do some raiding behind on those farms, on the wood line, on the stone, whatever really it may be, but it might take a little bit of time for him to get there, and uh, I think Mista has the same idea on the north side for the Muslim. Yeah. Both players building walls on their opponent's side of the map, so... Um, yeah, definitely interesting. Um, we'll see... We'll see if they actually end up going up. Um, but it looks like they probably will. And and one of the things with... It was a couple uh, patches ago with the Altai uh, spawn specifically. They made a few updates where if you have the sacred side on your side on one of the walls, the opposite side has an 8k gold mine and reverse on the other. So what they're actually both doing is walling out the 8k gold mine from their opponent as well that, you know, they could potentially secure in the long run. Yeah, exactly. It's, it's all about the long-term control here. It's, you know, neither player has really gone for anything uh, aggressive in the Feudal Age, so they're just going to be looking to make things as comfortable as possible for themselves as the game moves into the mid and later stages of the game, and as uncomfortable for their opponent as possible. And, and you know what is really uncomfortable for your opponents? Losing your scout and not having vision. And we just saw another one of the uh, Muslim scouts get taken down, so he will need to get some vision for himself um, by either producing another scout. The good thing for him, he has a stables to produce a scout out of instead of having to uh, idle a TC for just a bit. But for the time being, Mista, he's got nothing to, uh, to worry about on his side of the things, is about to go up to Castle Age and match the town center number as the Muslim had just dropped his third town center. Yep, he's on his way up to Castle Age, likely going to be that King's Palace, as you mentioned. And I think that Mista may have spotted this wall, as he's now positioning uh, his longbows down here to catch the villager as it goes to build the wall down here. Needs to needs to actually spot it out while it's building, or uh, this could just be a good bit of time. Oh, there it goes, immediate reaction. Three longbows will snipe down that villager quite quick, and the scout is there to... Yeah, there we go. Wall does not get fully built for the Muslim, who uh, looked to try to, you know, rebuild it, but Mista should just, you know, send a couple vills out and proactively wall out that southern side just in case, too. 
Yeah, but he is going to be getting at the wall up on the other side, actually. Wall out a couple of the small gold mines on the northern side of Mista's base there, as well as the sacred site. So a pretty funny interaction happened on this side. This villager we're actually spotting right now is, is walled in. He's going to be walled in. So he's going to be... Oh, yeah. Yeah, he is going to be walled in. <laughs> he's going to be fully stuck on that northern side. That doesn't mean he's worthless as, you know, he can create a proxy base. He can do whatever he wants behind this, but uh, he'll need to get back across somehow. <laughs> Yeah, it looks like on the minimap there, there might be a little crossing for the villager to go through, but probably not. If not, he can chop through as it looks like there's a wood line that is uh, the thing in between it. And it does look like, nope, villager circling around. <laughs> no, it's not a wood line. It's connected by a ridge. It's so he is, he is fully stuck inside as that wall has now completed. And the Muslim is about to uh, have about a third of the map taken away from him. Yeah, uh, good, good walls from... Uh, from Mista there, and now he's up to Castle H. He's starting to transi uh, transition into knights, and the Muslim's going to be a little bit slower on the Castle H himself. It looks like he's going to be going up with the Mehmed Imperial Armory, Armory, which you know acts as a military school, but for siege weapons. So it's going to train those siege weapons for free uh, over time, pretty slowly. And um, yeah, he's going to have to uh, deal with the early knights though before he can get any value out of that early Castle H landmarks or anything like that. And, uh, I don't know, though. There's not a lot of places for Mista to really push with those knights. Not for the not for the time being. He can just try to harass... Uh, he can dive under town center fire as um, as that, that initial top TC is a secondary TC. So it doesn't have quite the uh, number of arrows coming through as the original TC and, and less villagers to house inside. And any delay on Castle Age is a huge benefit for him. And Missa, he's just tanking through all this damage. He doesn't care, and he just says, all right, again, I'm going to idle out your uh, your eco and make you struggle to end up producing units and, and help yourself uh, right now. Yeah, I love how fearless he was. He was just like, yeah, I know. I saw you have three TCs. There's no way you have units. Just <laughs> go straight through the town centers and straight to where I know your villagers are. And he's killed a few vills and taken great trades so far. Yep, and it's spearmen are popping out now, which you might think is a concern for Mista, but he's securing relics behind this. He has farms behind this. He's taking down more and more military. And again, delaying castle further and further and further as there are no villagers on that castle age landmark right now. Yeah, just stalling, 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 and this is fantastic for the Mista. Villager counts are still even despite the kills, but yeah, as you mentioned, he's already picking up uh, those relics, and he's going to secure himself like a great position on the map in the front of the base here. He's going to be throwing down probably towers in the front soon um, and allow him to get uh, a good foothold with the vision and the network of castles from those towers. Yeah, third or, or third or fourth night ended up going down there. The Muslim still not castle age finishes on up and so it was a was a decent cost but at the same time is that cost worth it i would uh i would say so right now in the mista choosing to get a little bit earlier of a wheelbarrow this game compared to last it's 13 minutes and 30 seconds compared to the 20 minute or so mark coming out so getting uh getting that in which will boost up his nice economy behind this Raid attempting to come through. We'll just continue to circle around and just the Muslims on the back foot right now. There's no vision that the Muslims going to be able to get on the side of Mista. And one thing I actually just noticed is there is a spot that the Muslim can get into the eco as the Mista has not raided that one gap on the opposite side wall. <clears throat> yeah, but looks like, yeah, there is a tower set up here. The Knights are going to safely garrison that tower. And, uh, the Muslim might have enough spearmen to try and torch that, but looks like he's just actually going to back on home. And, uh, yeah, this is going to be the tough part for the Muslim, because he's going to be up... Well, he is up to Castle Age already, but uh, breaking the map control that Mist is going to have is going to be the tough part for him here. Yeah, and one thing, uh, you, you mentioned that outpost. Not only does that outpost give that vision, give that typical stuff, but for the English, that's given those knights the network of castles bonus. So they're going to have that extra attack speed and maybe just take some trades a little bit better. I'm, I'm confused by Mrs. Walls on the southeastern side. <laughs> He's just leaving. Uh, he's just leaving that one gap through for the Muslim to just like build a build a palisade gate and run right through right ahead of this into his eco. 
Yeah, that's true. He is leaving a little bit of space for the Muslim to maybe raid through that wall at some point, but he can he can still wall behind that. I think the main focus of this wall right now is just to protect that large 8,000 gold vein uh, on the south of the map there, and it's going to do a fine job of doing that. Yeah, exactly. Villager count number are still basically dead even after those night raids. Mist is down a little bit as far as the military count, but as far as like the strength of military, he has knights versus spearmen. So you're going to need about two, two to three to one uh, as far as the uh, the military trades there. Yeah, but it looks like the Muslim might be trying to force the issue here. He's just going to go straight for the tower. Only a few logbooks. Only a few longbows able to start helping to pick out those spearmen. Crossbows have even come out into the mix, which I guess they can they can help out a little bit against those armored units, but really he needs Ooh. to kill out the spearmen to allow his knights to run rampant around. And he popped the fortitude ability on the Spahi, but the Spahi just melted to the melee attacks there, taking the extra 50% damage on the uh, when you use that ability from melee attacks. So he got a bit of extra damage on the longbows, but maybe it wasn't worth it. This looks like a huge win for the Mista. As we talked about needing, I said a two to one numbers, what you need as far as the spears versus knights and the, the ranged units for the Mista were just able to spread out. A couple of the knights from the opposite side split the army of the Muslim, but the Muslim gets the first uh, siege unit coming out of that castle age landmark and the Manganel will be the perfect counter to the range side, just needs to protect it up from the night charge. A lot of, lot of upgrades uh, coming in for the Muslim as he has just clicked up through all of his uh, blacksmith upgrades on his opposite side, as well as his research uh, second tech upgrades coming in through as well. Yeah, and overall things are looking pretty even right now. Both players on almost identical vill counts. Both players have two relics, um, roughly equal military counts. So um, things are looking good here. The problem is uh for the muslim that english you know they scale very well into the late game um with the farm bonus and enclosures if this game does go to imperial uh so the muslim might want to try and keep the game in castle age but uh it's gonna be tough when they're both on equal footing when it comes to the eco and the militaries but musta just has a stronger foothold in the center of the map and that Mist already has five full sets of farms, which means there's not going to be that awkward farm transitioning timing. Whereas the Muslim on the opposite side, he's still spread out a little bit. I'm not sure quite how many uh, how many farms he may have, but those knights, they're running back right past that third town center. They're going to look to do some raiding on the back side of the Muslim's eco. Yeah, this is a bit of a risk um, on Altai with how, how choky everything is. You might get these knights trapped, but... Um, he might get a couple of villager kills for his trouble. He just has to be careful not to lose every single knight. And I, what I would love to see is him split them through the south side. The Muslim, as we say that, he's quick walling on the on the eastern side ridge line, so there's no ability for Mista to get through to the uh, little bit of pocket eco he is down on the eastern side. <clears throat> but just so many vills left out here vulnerable. Mista just uh, said just relentlessly charge through that TC fire and he just keeps running past all of the units that are trying to chase him and just killing out more and more vills. So we finally see a little bit of deviation from that kind of equivalent vill count that we had. Yeah, and he could potentially get a lot more kills. He's just going to probably trade off all these knights uh, for these villagers or maybe he's going to be forced away by the spearmen here. But um, yeah, not a bad trade for Mista, all things considered. Just... Uh, at the same time, though, like when you have 110 villagers as, as the Muslim, do you really care so no. much when you lose 10 vills? They're, like you have three town centers, they're not that difficult to replace. Yeah, exactly. Um, so easily replaceable, but mm. the key, we just saw farms being dropped. He's in that awkward farm transition. He has a significant military lead, but this might be the opportunity for the Mista to kind of get back in there and get in the network of Citadel's bonus as well as we just saw hovered along, which will double that attack speed bonus coming out, which is one of the English's kind of strong point being that quote unquote defensive civilization. Yeah, and as you mentioned, there is a military advantage for Muslim or to Muslim right now after he uh, he killed all those knights. So he's going to be pushing into the middle of the map here, trying to make use of that. Um, 
The defenses here are just so strong, and with only Mangonels behind to support this push, he's just not going to be able to push in here. There is a meter drummer in there that I see, and I'm wondering, I assume it's on the, the ranged armor with the, the longbows on from the opposite side and, you know, attacking through English keeps, but I couldn't be for sure there. Yeah, if you take a look actually above the, the meta, you can actually see there's a little spinning icon, uh, and it, it gives a different icon for each of the different bonuses. So at the moment, it's got the crossed swords, which is actually the attack speed bonus. So um, no melee, there are no armor bonuses coming out from the metas for him just yet. Um, he could choose to switch that for the siege if he wants to, but for now, it looks like he's content to keep the... The, uh, the bonus on the attack speed. And the nice thing about the metters here in this situation is that they do also affect your siege weapons. So that's going to help him out with the, the mangonels attacking these towers here. Ah, that is something, again and again, you know, you just kind of get these little insights when someone, uh, you know, is actually on the on the balancing side of things that you, you might not know when you're actually playing the game until you hear about it. So those mangonels, they're firing a little bit, bit quicker, a little bit stronger there that they're able to do with the overall DPS. Yeah, cleans up a couple of towers there that might actually free up a location for him to push past this keep. He could potentially just ignore it and go for the base um, where Mista may not have, you know, as strong of a defense. And it looks like that might be what he's doing. The, the typical forward Wingard Palace, which is always a risk, but immediately enclosure starting out, trebuchets coming, and another defensive keep, which I believe will be denied right as the Muslim spots it out, and it gets fully denied. No stone even gets taken out as Mista just throws away 800 stone right as he ages up. Yeah, that was pretty brutal. He needed to cancel that, and he just was a little bit slow on it. Um... And yeah, he's just going to ignore the keep and just try to go in. Maybe he can get the wind guard down, but the units here from Mista are going to be pretty strong with the Nerk of Citadels here. He's trying to stall until he can get his upgrades in. He's trying to circle around with the knights on the back side, circle for some siege. His own trebuchet came out, which uh, he took down a, a springled on the opposite side, but needs to be careful for his actual eco. Has some knights being idled, might just uh, try to be aggressive and, and force the Muslim a little bit on the back foot, who just reaches Imperial Age himself. Yeah, it looks like this is going to be a pretty strong push from the Muslim. He's getting a couple of villager kills, he got a couple on the wood line. Uh, he's potentially going to kill this Windguard Palace, although that might be a little bit too much to ask, but he's, I... he's buying himself time. It's, I, I think this was a kind of perfect timing push, and it was a very greedy Imperial Age by the Mista. If he can defend this up, let his enclosures actually ramp up and clear up this push, he'll be fine and good to go with the, the how strong English's late game is. But will he have the timing to do it? Yeah, and that's just it. Like, this, this timing was nice, but he hasn't done any lasting damage here. He hasn't killed... Well, he killed one keep. That, that was worth it. He's killed some villagers... Uh, but if you look at, like, Mista's resources, he, he might have deleted those villagers himself pretty soon. <laughs> and uh, I, I think that Mista's going to be just fine with this trade. Behind it, the Muslim's not going to be in a bad situation himself. He has 130 villagers. He's still sitting on more population than Mista, and he's up to Imperial himself. So uh, overall, like, it's probably going to be a net even trade for the most part. Uh, Mista does have a slightly larger bank than, than the Muslim, but the Muslim with more military units is probably going to be just fine. Yeah, it, it looks like, you know, Mista held that, but both of these players, we're going to get into this, uh, it's not going to be Imperial, we're going to end up probably getting into some, some late Imperial Age game, and Mista is trying to push back forward as uh, he has now defended up that, that push that came through from the Muslim. Just waiting for the great bombards to start coming out. <laughs> yeah, no bombards yet for for the Muslim. He maybe doesn't have enough gold. Oh, in there it is. <laughs> As we say that, the first one gets put into the queue, and also a defensive keep here to regain some map control. The Muslim's done a good job of securing up the eastern sacred site and breaking out through the north northwest side as well. Yeah, actually two great bombards in queue now for, for the Muslim. Um, imagine he's got one of those coming from that uh, that Castle Age landmark. This is a, a that little was bit a... of a dive here from the Muslim, just to, just to get rid of the trebuchets, trying to slow down the push. Yeah, and I mean, able to pick up two trebuchets with all of the units that were there, it felt like Mista was just a little slow to react, might not have uh, kind of seen that coming in in time and was focused elsewhere on the map. 
And his own keep is starting to get taken down as well. So the Muslim's breaking out, starting to take map control and putting Mista on his back foot. God, just hear that sound. <laughs> yeah, the Great Bombard going to be finishing off that keep in no time. And uh, yeah, he's just got more Bombards in queue. Um, it's going to be interesting to see how Mista deals with the Bombards this time, because last time when he was playing Ottomans, or sorry, not Ottomans, he was playing Malians, he had access to the Culverin, which can be a pretty good counter to the Bombard, but this time he only has access to Spring Elves, which is mean he's gonna need he's gonna need quite a few more Spring Elves to deal with the Bombards effectively. Yeah, if if you've ever uh I know some players with English, they don't even worry about Spring Elves. They just get that trebuchet That's true. number up to like seven or eight with shattering projectiles and they say, These are my Spring Elves now. <laughs> That's true, but the Great Bombard has such high hit points. Um, even if you have like five trebuchets, if they don't all hit their, uh, if they don't all hit the shot on the Great Bombard, it might not die. You can repair it up, and then it, it's going to be a lot harder to snipe with trebuchets than other siege weapons. Yeah, absolutely, and I mean, you can just see how much damage it's doing to the actual front line as well as siege, as the AOE just does so much to those infantry units. Yeah, and behind this, he's starting to add Janissaries as well into his composition, which do a lot of bonus damage against uh, any cavalry that might be coming in here to try and snipe the siege. And they can repair oh, the siege the weapons bills. as well. Oh, the bills! <laughs> just getting pasted by the siege. That was so satisfying to see. You're like, oh, they have a chance. Better watch out for the siege. I was like, no, they, they don't really have a chance, actually. <laughs> but it, it looks like there's not a lot of units left to defend the bombards here, so... Uh, the Muslim taking a pretty good trade, but probably going to be forced to back on out. Yeah, the trebuchet is just going to be trying to slowly whittle down those bombards. But um, again, like the Muslim doesn't even have to bring villagers with his army if he wants to repair those bombards. He could just repair them with the Janissaries. They do repair more slowly than a villager, about half as fast, but it can be valuable in these siege situations. And the Bombards are moving up for those trebuchets. They're going to try to get set up. And trebuchets going down. Well, the first one did. Immediately set up for the next one. Just huge shots coming out from the Bombards. And yes, those trebuchets not be at, might not be as high cost coming out of the Wingard Palace. But there aren't all coming out of the Wingard Palace with the number that we see. Yeah, the Muslim doing a great job of repairing those bombards. There's a couple knights though coming out, nothing to defend them. Where, where? He might pick off one. Okay, no, he's not. He's not going to go for the dive there. A little bit too risky. He decided. I, th I think the Muslim likes great bombards too much because he like doesn't make I anything else. I, I don't blame him. They're doing quite well here. <laughs> he's like, he's like, I got the keep to protect me. I'm fine here. <laughs> the trebuchet count is growing though for. Uh, for Mista, he's got four now. That fifth one's gonna pop out shortly. Um, and, you know, he is gonna need probably more trebuchets than normal to deal with these great bombards as opposed to other siege weapons, but um, eventually it will become a bit of a problem for him. As we can see, it did about half damage on that uh, that great bombard right there. Is he is he on them with villagers or janissaries? Looks like villagers. Janissaries don't quite have the exact healing rate as the villagers do, but they are still quite effective in repairing siege. Yeah. Oh, it looks like that one thing just missed. If he repairs it, he could keep that bombard alive. He's going to move he it too it. to make sure oh, that the trebuchet wow. is pushed off. And he's got the fifth great bombard coming out. <laughs> he's just. This is all he needs. He's just. This is it. He's going to go Jan Perfect. Janissary and great bombard. <laughs> Turns out this matchup is shattering projectiles versus great bombards. <laughs> <laughs> and soon enough, you might say, well, the Muslim could end up running out of gold. Well, he's had his backline secured for quite some time. We could end up seeing trade like we have all wanted to see for so long with some of these new civilizations. Yeah, it looks like one of the bombards going down. Tons of villagers being pulled to repair them. If you can keep those alive, they do so much damage to the trebuchets once they're in range. So, Mista's trebuchet count is down to one trebuchet, and there's three bombards left here. Mista needs to change up the way he's playing this. He can't rely on trebuchets solely from the Wingard Palace to deal with these bombards. He's going to need to start adding spring ults or start training uh, some trebuchets himself uh, from the Siege Workshop. Mista just keeps stacking up that food reserve though and the Muslims is just so low and we keep saying you know where's the Muslims infantry where's his actual army and that's what 
is continues to be concerning for me whereas mista he should have more than enough out there to keep producing and just might need a little bit more production I mean, every single time I see them shoot, it's just satisfying over and over and over again. It's just great to see Ober coming in. And to Muslim, he obviously thinks they are great as well with an, another fourth and then a fifth and then a sixth coming out. So we're about to have six bombards out on great bombards out on the side for the Muslim. Yeah, and he's probably got that uh, Castle Age landmark, the Mehmed Imperial Armory tasked great bombards as well and they're act the the armory is actually a little bit more effective at producing bombards in terms of resources per minute um than the uh than, than it is at producing other siege weapons and that's just because it takes such a long time to train these bombards that like the opportunity cost is pretty high from training them from that that armory but uh it's paying off big time for him now as he's already gotten probably two or three out from that that armory and it, yeah, they're trading very well for him right now, Ooh. and he's he is losing a lot of villagers to these uh, these trebuchets with the shattering projectiles, though. And the gold income is going to be the big limiter here for Ottomans uh, as the game progresses, because English does have those enclosures, but Ottomans, this is kind of like their only gold mine, and he's going to have to start transitioning into traders soon. Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't want to be a vil for the Muslim as he is just letting them work under those flying rocks coming down. He says, I need my gold. Just keep it coming. But the great bombards, I believe, were starting to focus the Wingard Palace. And that was what was allowing Mista to get so many trebuchets and so many units for so cheap. Oh, are they? They're just... No, he can't see it. <laughs> They looked like yeah, they were. It, they were so close. <laughs> it looked like it looked like he might have wanted to. Maybe he just set them up though, just so they'd be ready in case uh, Mister tried to go in. But yeah, if if the Muslim gains just a little bit more ground and he does manage to take out that Wingard Palace, that'll be a huge blow uh, to the Mista. Yeah, we're, we're getting into later and later Imperial, and I'm just wondering when trade will be set up by the Muslim, as he will surely be the first to do it. As English, they rely on trade quite a bit less than uh, other civilizations, as they can produce gold from their farms with enclosures. Yeah, and something I'm interested to see is is whether or not the Muslim has, is able to choose the trade bakes of Vizier Point. Uh, if we could check what Vizier Points he's gone for by clicking on the little icon on the bottom left, we could... We could see if he still has the opportunity to go for it and Did get Windport that extra Pal trade income later or not. Did Windport Card Palace just get taken down with like three bomber shots? I think it was four. Four uh, bomber shots took it down to yeah, on fire. It, it, looks like, it looks like it is going to be going down and uh, that's a big blow for, for Mista. It's going to be a lot of time to repair that. He's going to be missing out on those free trebuchets and... Um, yeah, I mean, the Muslim's happy about that. He's just going to back up. He's going to wait for a couple more bombards himself, as, as Mista's not going to be able to keep up his trebuchet count in the meantime. And eventually, the Muslim's going to have enough bombards to just push in here. Yeah, we also noticed a little bit of raiding coming down on the farms finally. So uh, just not allowing that total food eco and his gold eco to stack up. As that gold doesn't come in quite as fast... Oh, I thought he was about to burn a market too, which could be a, uh, a good idea too, as Mista can trade off some of that extra food that he has coming in for gold. Yeah, it looks like he just wanted to get into the economy though, but the knights are there to match them, so the spot here are going to actually, they're going to switch and try to take out some of the trebuchets potentially. But no, good job of body blocking there with the longbows. It's going to be too costly to go in there for the Muslim, so he's going to back on out. Yeah, just that, that full kind of middle map denial. It's just this back and forth, back and forth. And who will finally be the one to break through the other side? I see Mista has 2,700 stone in the bank. I don't know what he's uh, about to be using that for, but, you know, enough for three keeps. Seems like he could uh, help secure up his map control. Also allow himself to get the network of uh, Citadel, or actually he already has that, but act to, as a, you know, better defense point in the middle as those outposts get taken down immediately. Yeah. You know, one thing that the Muslim is missing in this situation is he doesn't have uh, a meter out. And the, like we mentioned earlier, the meter does buff his siege weapons, including the great bombards here, so he could get the extra 15% attack speed on these bombards if he wanted to. Oh yeah, that is uh, that is one of the things. And what Imperial Age um, 
What Imperial Age landmark did the Muslim end up opting for? Um, and, and how does it kind of go into the intricacies for the Ottomans Imperial Age landmarks? As we probably haven't gotten to see these as much, you know, not all games get to go to Imperial. Um, yeah, for sure. It looks like it was probably the uh, Istanbul Observatory. Yeah, there it is. And uh, what that does basically is it improves the influence of the Ottoman blacksmith and university uh, so that it produces units even more quickly. It's 60% faster unit production um, in the influence now with that, uh, with that landmark. Um, now that's not exactly 60% faster than other civilizations. The trade-off for Ottomans is that they don't have... Uh, military academy, but here we go. Big raid in the farms. And that raid finally came through, I believe, where I was talking about, but Mista was really quick to rewall on that southern side behind the cliff lines after they broke on through and came through where the Muslim deleted his wall. But this is, again, farm denial is the key as this is gold and food denial at this current time for the Mista. Whereas the Muslim, he hadn't had to worry about this yet. Still no gold really going to be coming in long term for the Muslim, though. Unless, uh, unless the trade boom has begun. Yeah, this is a super valuable raid uh, for the Muslim. The, uh, the idle time on these villagers is huge. Uh, as you can see, the gold count for Mista is pretty low. And he has to be careful here. The Spahi are going to be moving to the center of the map. They could pick off the trebuchets here. The knights aren't there to body block. And they're going to be flanking them pretty soon. Um... And the great bombers immediately come up, take down a keep in no time. There's outposts, there's trebuchets there, and the full circle comes down. All of the trebuchets the are getting focused. Being used on the spot here as well. Oh. Gonna be getting extra attack speed, but it uh, looks like he didn't pick off as many as he wanted. He did get two trebuchets, maybe three. Oh, he still has some spot there though. He might get a fourth. And the key is, I believe, is he was trying to get the keeps, but his great bombers are now being focused down as the knights. They clear up the Sapahi and they go straight forward towards that siege that the Muslim no longer has protected as much. Yeah, a couple of the bombards super exposed, especially on the northern side there. Uh, one of them does go down, another one is definitely going to drop as well. And, uh, I mean, the bombards on the south are okay for now, but the knights are going to swing over. There's nothing there to really defend them and uh, miss them, like, suddenly just turning yeah. things around. He's the one pushing through, and, and it looks like the Muslim overstepped just a little bit. He's losing all of his siege, and soon enough, he just might be losing his whole entire eco and his production as well. Yeah, there's only one bombard left for the Ottomans here. That's that's a sad sight to see. No bombards, but uh, it looks like Mista's going to be trying to get on top of that one as well. There's some good body block from the Muslim, though, so he's not going to quite be able to take out that one. But, uh, I mean, behind this... There's still a lot of trebuchets out for Mista. Seven trebuchets, and they're going to be focusing down the bombard and uh, pushing into the base here, and things are not looking good for the Muslim right now. Yeah, and 43 longbows. They might not do a ton of damage uh, earlier on to some of these armored units, but once you hit Imperial, you get those flaming arrows, and you have that many out, it's pretty hard to deal with those in mass without, you know, mangonels or other siege. Yeah, definitely, and just the army count's now dwindling for the Muslim. It's 26 to 80 army, yep. and he's just streaming his units in here. He really needs to be backing up and massing a little bit, maybe giving up a bit of this forward infrastructure. But the problem is on Altai, if you give up that forward infrastructure, there's not a lot of space in the back of your base to rebuild it. And yeah, it's just going to be too much uh, for the Muslim there, and he ends up tapping out. But a very close game between the English and the Ottomans here. Yeah, it's, you know, it's, it was really like that back and forth standoff where they each kind of stood across like the river and they said, all right, we're just going to keep throwing rocks at each other. And eventually one of these is going to land and eventually I'm going to knock you out and break on through. And it looked like Mista was finally the one that was able to do that. Yeah, it, it was looking good for a bit there. Demosa managed to get through. He took out the Wingard Palace, slowed down the trebuchet production. Uh, he managed to get in onto the farms and get a great raid, and the flank looked really good for him initially, but he didn't quite get as many trebuchets as he needed, and at the same time, Mista took a great trade behind that, so he was able to push in and, uh, and uh, take out the bombards on the other side. Yeah, and you can see that dip in the Vilgraf. That was when uh, Mista hit Imperial, and we talked about like how greedy that was, and... It, you know, obviously the greed paid off as he uh, he ended up able to clear up, you know, everything that came down as far as the military goes, reboost up that eco behind it, allow those farms to keep producing, and then uh, remass up his, his military and, and kind of take the trade back. Mm-hmm.
So that is, uh, you know, 3-1 now for the Mist. We have one game left, and uh, I believe it might end up being the first mirror matchup we're going to be able to get to see out of these civilizations um, with uh, with Double Mally, potentially, if, if the uh, overlay is correct. Yeah, it looks like we will be getting a Malian mirror next. Um, don't worry, we will get an Autumn mirror in our next series, I think, which is going to be coming up right after this. That's going to be Beastie Cutie versus Marine Lord. But uh, yeah, for now, it's going to be the Malian Mirror, which it's hard to wrap your head around, right? Because there's a lot of different ways to to play Malians, uh, especially when it comes to your economy with the cattle and the pit mines and, um, you know, whether or not you go for a TC or not. There's a lot of different options there, and it'll be interesting to see how they kind of play around that. Um, and uh, yeah. Looks like we will be jumping into the game shortly. Is there anything you're really hoping to see out of the Malians in this game? You know, it's I I personally would like to see a little bit more of kind of the uh, the Musafari warriors be mm. utilized. I feel like they had their place against the palace guards was when we saw them a little bit, but other than that, we haven't seen a ton of like the the invisibility idea being utilized. And I want to kind of see how that works uh, a little bit more often and kind of see if you can kind of get the advantage from that. Yeah, it would definitely be cool to see that. Unfortunately, just with the way the Musafati work in the counter system with, you know, the counter heavy armored units, right? There's nothing and on there. Malians, uh, Malians, I mean, they do have Sofa. It does get counter. Like, it is technically armored, although less than a knight. So the Musafati does counter the Sofa cavalry. But uh, other than that, yeah, there's no man at arms for the, the Musafati to play against uh, in the Malian mirror. So we might not see any just yet in this game but hopefully in the next series we'll see more musafati yeah you, you know it makes sense that some things that you, you don't really think about and same thing with the musafari gunner if they hit imperial you know no real reason to to build that yes it's high damage but you know what is it really countering out mm -hmm. but overall though so far it's been some exciting games we've seen a lot of the the kind of intricacies and i, I think the muslim is a little too in love with his uh his great bombard cannons if there's anything that i would have to say from from seeing some of these games <laughs> 